News broke this morning. Several key players in Tennessee government released statements or spoke about the indictments. And state capitol newsroom reporter Chris O'Brien collected some of that reaction to the news. He joins us live tonight from Capitol Hill. Chris. <laughs> Haley, Bob, good evening. To say it was an emotional day on Capitol Hill would be just about spot on. Whether it was sadness, frustration, anger, there was plenty of it to go around. For some reps, sadness. It's just very sad to see any legislator's career be uh, uh, tarnished or, or in this way. And I know he's going to have an uphill battle defending himself. To others, anger. I think our families deserve better from our elected officials. Laws should pass because um, they prevailed in honest debates on the merits of their legislation, not because lawmakers got a kickback from hedge fund managers and billionaires. Both Democrats and Republicans alike came together to condemn outgoing Rep. Glenn Cassida and his chief of staff, Kate Cothran. This is a, a sad day for the state of Tennessee government right now. It definitely puts a black eye on the legislature as a whole. It's sad, and he is a friend, and he's a friend to many people in the legislature and in his home county of Williamson County. He's represented Williamson County very well over the years. Senator Joey Hensley worked with Cassida when he was still in the State House of Representatives. He wasn't the only Republican with something to say. State Speaker Cameron Sexton released a statement saying, quote, in Tennessee, we will not tolerate public corruption, defrauding our state, or bribery at any level. He went on to say today is a good day for Tennesseans because we did not turn a blind eye on these criminal activities. The governor's office released its own statement saying, we trust the legal process and continue to hold Tennessee's public servants to high standards of accountability. Senator Campbell suggested this might not be the end of the cycle. I suspect that it's not over. So anyone who has nothing to hide should cooperate. Now, I did speak to Senator Hensley about the implications of the indictment. He told me that he does not expect a special session to come to remove Cassida from office as he was already on his way out. He had decided not to run for re-election this year. And as for Cassida himself, Hensley said his pension is actually up in the air. If he is convicted on one of the felony counts, any single one of them, well, he is going to have to forfeit his pension under state law.